What a gorgeous start out at Tybee Island. The pinks, the purples, a little lilac, the sun starting to come up. Temperatures on the cool side, so if you do want to get out and watch the sunrise this morning, the wind out of the northwest might make you want that extra layer because 48 now officially feels like 45 out at Tybee Island with that wind that'll be there all day long out of the northwest, 10, 15 miles an hour, and at the coast, a little bit stronger. Down in the southern part of the area, if you're out by the coast we're going to see 60s then the rest of us you get further north those upper 50s even with plenty of sunshine but it's a seasonable afternoon we're going to have those low 60s inland which is right around our average high temperature we're also going to have that northwest wind 15 25 miles an hour so if you did want to get the boat out today small craft advisory through noon the clear skies is how we start the weekend but clouds will be coming in sooner rather than later and with it we're going to have precipitation chances too take a look at future cast just a few high thin clouds today. Tomorrow morning we'll wake up and a little bit more cloud coverage starts to come in, but we look to stay fairly dry for Saturday until overnight Saturday into Sunday. That system starts to come in. Rain moves in from west to east. Some heavy pockets. Those downpours wanting to give you a lot of rain in a little amount of time and up north you might get a little bit more than just rain. This clears out by Sunday afternoon. We're still going to have the clouds around, but the precipitation chances they're getting Getting out of here. Like I said, though, wintry mix, maybe up north, Hampton, Screven counties, where that low will track a little bit closer. But the impacts for the rest of us just going to be those very breezy winds and those heavy downpours at times. Screven, Hampton County, that's where we're going to keep a closer eye. The rest of us, though, just bundle up and maybe hunker down. No one wants to be outside when it's windy and wet, especially with the cold coming in as well. And if you are in the eastern part of the area, we'll have some of those isolated pockets with the downpours a little bit higher. Isolated power outages on the low end with this, but by MLK day when that system has cleared out of here, even with the clearing skies, it is not going to be the most pleasant forecast to be outside because it'll stay breezy on Monday for that 5K and 10K. And with that sunshine, you would hope we'd warm up, but no, the air behind this system is cool. We get back to the 30s for those overnight lows and the daytime highs back into the 50s, Emma, just when we start to get a little bit warmer into the low 60s. Our next system looks to come in next Thursday. This one too wants to bring a little bit of a precip chance and another cool down. So thank you. We're heading outside.